When we built the new addition to the History Center in 2004, we told the architects we needed to design it in such a way that it could accommodate a Sherman tank. For you tank aficionados, you, you probably know that the Sherman was a medium tank. It had an undersized 75 millimeter gun that the Americans learned couldn't even pierce the armor of a German Tiger tank. So in 1944, they redesigned the gun and the turret to accommodate a 76 millimeter high velocity cannon. And those turrets were made right here in Pittsburgh. We found a history buff in Ligonier who owned his own tank and he agreed to loan it to us. This tank could roll and was in perfect condition. It was just right for our exhibit. My role is basically to coordinate every aspect of bringing this thing down here and getting here safe. There are many different moving parts. So we have the lender that's lending the tank, and then we actually have the rigging company that's actually gonna transport the tank. I think the drive's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna be taking major highways and there's gonna be lots of room, but once we get it down here and we start making that turn to come on Smallman Street, that's gonna be a little tricky situation because we're bringing it down uh, right after a peak rush hour. Some of the veterans are gonna do a double take when they see a tank double parked in front of the History Center. It's gonna bring back some memories. Like old times, yeah. Memories of life and death experiences during World War II. We think the Sherman tank in front of the History Center will be an iconic element for the show. It's something that really epitomizes American industry, the arsenal of democracy during World War II.